All right, folks, Damon from Black Warrior Lures is finally starting to get back into gear for the fishing season 2015. And, uh, oh, not blood, it's actually food coloring from the other video. But we're, we're you know, we're kind of rebuilding the bunks here because the bunks that came with this Harbor Freight trailer are just inadequate. And we're going to make a few upgrades while we're here. What we did was we went down to the, to the Wally World and bought us, you know, Academy Sports, whatever. And bought us a, a, a winch for our trailer because it's just hard to, you know, get that boat in. If we can get that, if we can get a winch on this trailer, it would be a lot easier to load and unload the boat. And so we got a simple tra uh, trailer winch for my little 12-foot John boat. 600 pounds come with the strap, and it, it's two inch wide, 15 feet long, and. Um, it should boat right on up. It comes with the strap. That's the thing that I like about it. Because on my old trailer, my old, old rusted out trailer, it had finally gotten rid of it. The winch on it was just so inadequate. It would never lock right and the boat would fall off as I'm trying to pull it out of the water. But anyway, we have here, uh, I guess I got to go buy the boat, no? I got to go buy boats for it. So here we go. There's that, there's that. And uh, there we go. And so, what we got to do is, like everything else, we got to probably should read the instructions. It's just, it's not a very complicated device, but there it is. Uh, so, so, any of you who are using this Harbor Freight trailer and you just need a winch for it, I'm, I'm guessing that this would be plenty enough. And so, uh, yeah, and so find a suitable location. Doesn't look like it comes with the bolts. So I'm looking, I may have to go buy some bolts or look around the house and see what I have around the house. Looks like from the picture and from the instructions here, this will slide out. And well, it should slide out. And um, it never really works the way you want it to. Especially when I'm on camera and trying to do something for you guys. So I got a three-quarter inch bolt uh, wrench here. This is meant to have a very tight fit. You're gonna have to pry it off here with a screwdriver, or just take it and just wiggle it, walk it back and forth till you get it off. Mount this on, put this on top of it, and uh, just use your muscles and just kind of and just sort of muscle it in until you see that that unit there is way down snug under the base. Now you have a very snug and secure uh, deal. So let's uh, see. So now okay, we can put the ratchet on. And there we go. Now, that's worked, so that's working just fine. Finally got some bolts. I was hoping that uh, at the Wally World or the whatever, that they would actually have something that would, uh, maybe a mounting plate. But hopefully this will be good. The book recommends 3 8 inch mounting things here so if you just go to go to uh, you know your Lowe's or somebody like that you get yourself a, this is a one inch by three eighths inch uh, bolt three eighths inch washers I'm only going to need two about four just in case we uh, need some more and one of the things I've gone to is I've gone I've quit using the what they used to call uh, lock nuts or split split uh, washers and I've gone with the nylon lock bolt nuts there and so I'm hoping I got these in the right size and so we got the bolts here washers there and that'll go there hope you can see that yeah and so that'll yeah and so this is not a very thick unit so probably could have gotten a three-quarter inch and been just fine but don't worry about that. Let's see. So what we're going to do is just uh, see if we can't 
bolt this on. Oh, come on now. Don't give me all this trouble. I say that a lot, you know. Don't give me all this trouble. <laughs> Don't give... <laughs> Everything gives you trouble, you know. It's like, dude. Put, try to put this up high as we can. It's sitting there. So here. So we got it bolted there. This should fit, but I'm not sure how in the world I'm going to get it in there. Well, we may just have to do it this way. Have one going one way, have one coming the other. I'm not sure about the clearance. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We may have to go get some more washers and clearance issues. I'm... Uh, Sorry, As you see it bolts on well, okay, so what we need to do is have this come down through the top here, and I don't know how in the world, the only thing I know to do is pull this off, oh come on, seriously, okay, so now what we can do is we can get this down in here, that's how these things work. Sorry for a lot of motion and commotion, but that's just kind of how it works. Yeah. Yeah, I would, the three quarter inch would have been a heck of a lot better and easier to, to deal with, but we're going to go with this right now, and that's in there like that. And we'll take a bolt here, bolt right up there. There we go there. Lot nuts in there, no problem. Bolts here. Hopefully, you can see this. A little bit of kind of off centeredness to it, or whatever. I think this will be fine. Three quarter inch would have been plenty. But I got the one inch just in case, you know, you're not, sometimes you're not sure what you need. So it's three eighths, so let's go get our wrenches. Three eighths inch bolts. Require nine sixteenths uh, thing. It'd be faster with a ratchet, but. <laughs> It's going to be slow going, boy. This is going to be a slow turn here, boy. I think we might be better off if we just did it this way. Sometimes you have to fool that and do it the other way around. And Oops, Sorry. A little bit more headway there. And uh, we're making progress. So... Anyway, we'll keep doing this until I get it all uh, tightened up. Done! Done! So we'll wrap this all back up. And we're done with that. It bolts up fairly well. Let me show you. So it just bolts up right there. Uh, probably could have put another washer back on this side here or something. Um, oh, I sure hate to take all that loose again. <laughs> we'll use it like that, and if it comes loose or something, we know that we can put some washers in there and it'll be fine. But anyway, so we now have a winch, which will make a, getting the boat on the trailer a lot easier. We finally got us some waterproof boots in the house that we can use to uh, to do that. I may give a quick give a quick review of those, and if you might want to just know the particular brand I use. But anyway, here we go. And now, so there's it. Harbor Freight upgrade number one. Put a winch on this thing. 600 pound winch that you can get from uh, Academy Sports. You have to buy your sep boat separately, bolts, and uh, there you go. That's upgrade number one. Second upgrade is working out these bunks. Hey, folks.
this Damon at Black Warrior Lures. We're you know trying to get the trailer fixed. I had the bunks there, but they weren't working. I think I'm going to make the what I'm going to do is take the bunks here, chop them off right around four feet or so, and then see if I can't get it to where it'll rest onto the axle there. So we're going to, if we chop it off there, if it rests there coming out of the water, we'll be just fine, really. Yeah, so that's a good one. So we can, yeah, we'll just set that off and we can use both of that for one. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's go over here on the miter saw and see what we can do. These are two by six. These are two by six uh, waterproof water, uh, you know, the stuff that they use. Um, well, it's not waterproof, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's water um, rot resistant, uh, treated, you know, treated pine, whatever. Well, I think that'll work. And see, that way, when we're See, the biggest problem with those is that they would fall all the way down here and they'd be get gouging here on the, on the ground or they'd be falling back of your back and back when the boat's off the trailer and in the water. So we're, we're going to use, and also too, uh, these were gouging whole streaks in the bottom of my boat. So we're um, putting these two by sixes on here. And as long as we can make it so that it'll rest like that when it you know the the you know for the most of the weights like that and I think we'll be so that's what I'm gonna do. So it's just slightly weight forward. And so that's where we're gonna mark it. We're gonna take that mark it right here. And since this is essentially a, a duplicate of that we don't have to worry about it. So, wait, wait a minute. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Okay, so we need to adjust that again. I guess we could put the top bolt there. Yeah, we could bolt it right there. That'd be fine. Go check again. Alignment's good. Kind of using body weight. Great thing about gravity, it's like the most reliable tool ever. Tag off there. Now, another quick tip to get you some knee pads, folks. Working out here on the ground, you get old, man, these knees. Get you some knee pads, so. But anyway. Alright. This should work there. And this one should work here. But let's uh, get the one first. Do it this way this time. Bolt it through this side here. There we go there. There we go. Success. See? See? And it naturally wants to, guess what? Fall right down there on the axle. So, success. I'm trying to figure out which way the proper orientation for this thing. All right. Once again, there we go there, and it's just a matter of tightening these big boogers up, boy. Let's see, once again, let's, let's see on top, you know, there we go, works. All right, let me tighten these up. I'm going to replace this roller with these two things. The thing I don't like about this design is that uh, we really need something that goes across here for a John boat, but even so, even though we don't have that, what you can do is take the two original pieces, put them in that unit there so they go forward like that, and that way the boat can rest on uh, something like that all the way forward to the, to the eye there or whatever. So we can make use of what we do have without having to make major epic changes and modifications. So that's what we're going to do now is uh, take this off and start that process, all right? So there's that, there's that. This is a good roller. I actually like it. It's pretty 
rolls well. <laughs> now, again, take the so that it falls forward, one side slightly longer than the other. As long as the holes match up, you know you have it right. Okay. Set there. Scoot back a little. There. There. And there. And see, now you have that. Well, that's going to slip and slide, so you might you might have to make some... Uh, but still, even that right there is even better than what you had before. So that's what we're going to do. There's that, there's that modification. See, that's the thing about building your own stuff, folks, is you can just do whatever modifications that fits best for your application. Uh, I think that's a... I just think that's a lost skill to th these days, you know? Let's see, do it like here. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I do the videos, to teach life skills. I think that's part of my mission in life, is just to teach life skills. And, uh, and, this, and, and you guys benefit from that. So here we go. Now, ideally what we could do is we could probably find a little bushing somewhere. That's probably going to be about as good as it'll go. We could probably find a little bushing or something that we can stick in there little piece of rubber or something like that but for right now that's you know I'm happy with that you know and it'll that's gonna stay fairly straight and even if it's off to you know we can you know again we'll just probably find a little little piece of wood that we can stick in there a little chalk or something it'll just just keep it like that and it'll be fine I find it much easier to do it this way you just put the carpet on here first measure it right there and then and it'll stay there Okay, and then we can just sort of measure how you want it to lay for the rest of the the thing. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be like perfect or anything, but just uh, you can go about every couple of inches or something. Am I running out of? I'm thinking I'm out of nails now. Yeah, out of, uh, if you get your staple gun, get the kind that's, uh, that's shaped like this. The old school kind where the handle was back here, yeah, man, you'll, you'll be sitting here all day long trying to get this stupid thing to work, man. But get you kind shaped like this because the weight's forward and you can really kind of hammer down with your body weight and stuff. So all we got to do is just keep this up here. We may need to reposition the chair here because it never really is going to work right. And so once we kind of get that on and we can just pull the next side taut and we just end up doing the same thing there. And we'll just get our scissors, cut it to thing and we'll be good to go. And as far as the end, we just, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, tapering down the ends there like that and that's how we do the ends so uh, but I want to get the whole thing on here right first so oh dead gummit oops always something good thing about these low boys boy I love these low boy uh, I love these low boy uh Saw horses. Gotta, gotta make you a pair. Let me, let me put a video up on that, how to do that. It's good for any kind of boat, boating or boat building. So that's good there. It's fairly level. Trim. And just get that there. There we go, like that. And just every couple of inches. You know, make sure we have the staples in there. There we go. Now one staple there. Come down here onto the end. Get it nice and taut. Staple there. And then down to the other end here. Get this nice and taut. Yeah, one, 
two, three. Now we're going to, this doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Yeah, come on. The main thing we're just wanting to do this is just to keep from scratching up the bottom of the boat. And, uh, We're not doing antique furniture or anything, so who cares, right? So, we'll come here. Like that. Come here. A couple of end pieces like so. And there we go. We we'll basically just need to finish stapling that. We'll be fine. The way I do the end is I staple that one. Oh, come on now. Staple that one. Oh, come on now. Staple that one. And one more up here for good measure. Well, I think we're out of staples again. Alternate way of doing it is fold the lips back like that not going to penetrate all the way through there so you might can just come cut a corner like that stay out steep that down and basically we have the uh, carpeted bunks that are better than the old ones not ideal but definitely the four in, four foot bunks here plus the uh, added length of what we have here will make a far better system so uh, hope that helps you anybody who has bought these uh, harbor freight trailers want to figure out how you can modify them a little bit to make them better a lot of people go with 12 inch wheels I just went with 8 inches so what comes with it I'll worry about that when the tires run out or whatever four foot bunks the original bunks that came with it here for front support here and then the um, and then the and then the winch here seen that so so there you go upgraded harbor freight boat trailer now we're ready to load the boat up on there and i'll talk to you guys later bye